Hi and welcome to another daily challenge video. Um, yesterday I had five really really good rounds and in all the rounds I actually found road signs or uh, some other signs that helped me to uh, more or less pinpoint where I was. So even in my round in uh, uh, in Canada and in Japan where I quite often struggle to find out exactly where I am. I managed to be, or managed to get really, really close. Uh, same in France. I got uh, got a very good road sign in France. My worst round was actually the first round in Sweden, uh, where I normally am quite good to find out where we are. Uh, so, all in all, I ended up with an even better score than the day before, so twenty four thousand six hundred points. And I'm going to see if I can carry on this form today. Um, before I start, I would just like to ask you to consider subscribing to the channel and also hitting the like button and leaving comments on videos um, if you like this channel. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get on with round one. Okay, so this one, I can see straight away it's going to be a hard one. Uh, there's a road sign there, so I'm guessing this is uh, maybe Russia. Uh, most likely. Uh, I'm just going to see if there's any anything on these uh, rocks, anything blue. There isn't, uh, because that would uh, indicate uh, that it was in uh, an EU country or in Serbia. Um, I think these are very small locations, so I don't think they're helpful. I'm I'm just looking at this um um all these uh, curbstones here in uh, at the bus stop and also the bus stop sign, which is the same we see in Lat uh, sorry, Lithuania, uh, which kind of makes me think that this is on the western part of uh, Russia. I'm going to put it down the market. I, I don't really think that I'll uh, find out where we are, so I'll put the market down here. I, I can, <laughs> I, I can of course be completely wrong uh, with my estimation. I'm just hoping to see a road sign of any sorts other than the one we just saw just to see or just to see if i can get an indication of where in russia we are so, so i was just looking to see if i can uh, see the url um but i couldn't see if it was a dot ru or if it was UA. I, I, th I think it's more likely that we are in Russia than Ukraine. Uh, no, so I can't really find anything, so I'll, I think we'll just let the time run out uh, and hope I'm close. I uh, was in Ukraine, so uh, that was a bit surprising. Um, well, uh, I, I was fairly close anyway, so 2,800, not too bad. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where we are. This could be France. Uh, no, it's Italy. That's the SP14. That's the road number. Just going to see if 
when we go down to this junction if there are any other road signs just to give us a bit of indication of where in Italy we are but it was after be frantically looking for the SP14 San Pietro that doesn't really help either There's a snow warning, so maybe we're a bit further north. We have the SP11 and SP19 around here. Again, SP11, there's a few SP143, north. And there's a some kind of road markings uh, look very uh, very similar to Brazil. The only thing is, it's, uh, it's like the it said San Diego on that truck, like that's uh, Spanish rather than. Uh, this is Spanish as well, and so maybe not Brazil. Also, with this red and uh, white, so that's more likely to be Peru. So in that case, I'm going to put my marker down in Peru. It's pretty green for Peru, so... I think maybe up here somewhere. See if I can find anything. No, I'm just going to guess uh, here and hope for the best. Ah, oh, it was Argentina. 
I did not think that's, uh, that was going to be Argentina. So that's not a very good score at all. So I'm back to my normal form in South America, to be fair. Um, right, round four. Okay, so we are most likely in Budapest. Uh, this is, uh, it has Hungary up there as well, but this is uh, Hungarian. So in Budapest 8, I'm guessing. Let's see where District 8 is, is here. This is the Josef street or utka there's a yourself utka so let's just see where we started we didn't start on yourself utka we started on big utka ah well, there's big utka Okay, so we started down on the corner around there, I think. But eight meters, so that was a perfect score. So that was a, a, at least a good score. And um, I hope I've redeemed myself a slightly after the first two. Uh, this one is... So this looks like Uruguay and road numbers. Oh, are they green? Are they green? So then is it just be Chile then? No, it must be Argin. Actually, let, let me just uh, think. I think it's Argentina. It's five runs here. But it doesn't really fit with the nature. Let's see if there's any. Well, I'm not entirely sure then. Um, I think we are in a Southern Hemisphere. And with these trees, I mean, could be chilly uh, because uh, conifers like these are are common in Chile. Um, could also be uh, Argentina, but then it's further south. So I'm. Not entirely sure, to be honest. Uh, it's fairly flat. That kind of points to Argentina rather than Chile. I don't think it's Brazil. I don't think it's Uruguay either, although Uruguay is a possibility. I'm going to leave it in Chile and hope for the best. I could be way off here. It was Uruguay and 1,700 points. That's... Uh, uh, that's not a good score at all. So that's actually a bronze score, which is the worst score I've had in a very, very long time. So I'm, I was way off with almost all my guesses. I have one perfect score in Hungary, in Budapest, but the others, even the one in Italy, wasn't that good. Uh, so uh, 
not a great game at all. Um, so that's down to a bronze score, which I haven't had in a very, very long time. Um, so, yes, uh, a, a bit disappointing score, but uh, sometimes uh, uh, you are way off. Um, uh, this is one of those times. Uh, anyway, if you like this video and would like to see some more, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also, uh, uh, leaving a comment and hitting the like button. And I shall see you again tomorrow for another daily challenge. Bye for now.